Lusitania is one of history's most famous ships, but not many people know just how much say the British Admiralty had in its construction. They offered to pay for part of its construction costs so long as the Cunard Line agreed to make a few small design changes. The ship would be made ready for war and could be easily converted into an auxiliary cruiser, a type of warship. Down below the waterline, the ship's coal bunkers were actually mounted along the side of the ship's hull to protect from incoming enemy fire. Crucially, the ship would need to be able to mount its own protection, and emplacements were built into the deck for the installation of 6-inch guns, and then the decks below were reinforced to deal with the additional weight. These were all marked out on the original plans, but in the end, when the war broke out, Cunard kept Lusitania in service until she was tragically torpedoed in 1915 while operating as a passenger liner without any of her guns ever fitted.